Hi, I'm me, and I am 19. Hi, I'm Jam, and I'm 14. We can definitely see who's the tallest of us, and probably not the oldest. I wish I was uh, the tallest you, Jam. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, it's now one of my favourite times of year. I don't know about Jam here. No. It's not his favourite time of year. No. But it's December. It's fucking cold. It's not the cough record, is it? Yeah, not a few Australians, yeah. Nice and warm for you guys. I clipped my fingers, but I tried it in the first take. He did. Well, anyway, for this December special, it's not really special, is it? <laughs> not really. <laughs> for this December video, uh, what are we doing? We're playing one of the oldest consoles ever known. And the only one I own that's the oldest. We were playing. The Atari 2600. Ooh, the Atari. The Atari. Whoa. Oh, blimey. Whoa, motherfuckers. This is the uh, Atari 2600. Um, well, it's the junior version, actually. Uh, me here is a massive cheap ass and can't afford the original. Yeah, right, Jam. Well, the Atari was uh, released in 1978 in the UK and has sold the most units ever in gaming history, even more than the PS2. As everyone knows, the PS2 did have a long life span. Well, this is the back of the console, the Atari, uh... See now? There's the, uh, difficulty switch, which means you can change the difficulty from A to B. So, A to B. And so, obviously, another thing you might have noticed is that the controls are at the back. That's, uh, it's strange from today's gaming now, because usually all the game cards or hooks are at the front, at the aren't front, they? yeah. And as you can see, that thing in the middle, is actually the power source. The, they didn't use like big sources like they do now, but quite small ones. With difficulty switches on the Atari, is that it changes the game's modes. As you can see here, that the mode is, as you can see, it's changed into a ping ball. Like two ping balls are at the top, and you, as you can see, is that you uh, things will change whilst you're playing it. Yes, so, indeed. So that's what uh, the difficulty switches do. It's pretty innovative for the time, I would imagine. So you didn't have difficulty in games, you had difficulty from the switches. Mm. So these are the games. Quite Driving big reckless. for the games, aren't they? Yeah, had to be big motherfucking cartridges back then. But you know, it's all good. With Joe removing them. So as we know, every good game had any levels, except for Spider-Man, because that was a piece of shit. But what was good about this is that you can literally breeze through your games collection and take any game you want to hand without worrying about which game it was. And this are the controllers. What a hunky piece of shit this was. But don't forget though, Jam, that these days these controllers were very well built and actually wouldn't break easily. Yes, you see it had backwards compatibility, so any other controller with similar prongs could fit into it quite well. Exactly, I mean look at these 7800 controllers, they fit exactly well and they work the same. So enough about the console, let's actually talk about the games. So the first game we're going to play today is Jungle Hunt. Ha, <laughs> I call it Jungle The first thing you may notice about the game Jungle Hunt is its music at the beginning of the game when you start it up. Amazing, wasn't it? How fucking awesome was that? Well, the first level is split into, well, the game is split into four sections, isn't it? Yeah, the first one is you swinging on ropes like Tarzan. And the next level is actually swimming with crocodiles. Alligators. Or alligators, yeah. But the interesting thing about this bit is you have to get oxygen. So you had actually a projective where you can't stay in the water too long. Exactly. Made it give it a little bit of challenge. I like the first level. Hmm. Next level is, as you can see, jumping over rocks. Jam had a really hard time on this bit. Such a bunch of bastards there were them rocks. This wouldn't go... They're just... Oh. If you got one pixel, you die. And after that, you've got the the black people with spears. No racist comments are going to be on this. No, this is really, really offensive to some people. Well, you might have just noticed this. Literally, the kick-ass music again. Listen to that. How fucking awesome was that? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so this is Super Breakout. It's similar to the arcade classic Arkanoid, if you remember. So, Jam, shall we have a game of it? Yes, indeed, we should, me. Yes, indeed. Um, let's see how we can play this. The, um, Jam? Yeah? The game's not working. I can't move my paddle. The fuck? 
Do you think we should change the difficulty switches around? Maybe uh, yeah. some of the difficult switches. No. The game's still not working. Hmm. What the hell? What the fuck? Well, guess what, guys? The game won't work without a particular controller. That's right. You need the paddle controller to make this game work. Unfortunately, I do not own. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Balls on me now, isn't it? How retarded is that? Okay, so this is, oh, the shittest game I own in the collection, Spider-Man on Atari 2600. Well, here's the gameplay anyway, it's quite simple, just keep going up this tower, keep going, keep going, dodging people, you know, that is really, really fun. Next bit, you'll be stuck on bits of pipes, well, with Atari, you don't know if they're pipes, but you got to make it onto the pixel, if you're one pixel off your way, you will fall to your death. It doesn't really make sense, really, does it? Well, it makes, it's realistic enough. I mean, if in real life, if your web was one centimeter off the thing, it would break, wouldn't it? Off the pillar. Because it's realistic to have webs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and as you can see at the top, there's the green goblin. Do you, do you think that's the green goblin? I don't know. It kind of looks like the green goblin, doesn't it? It just looks like four pixels that are green. <laughs> well done, Atari. Yeah, you have to make things look simple. Well, at the top of it, you might see there's a checkerboard box in the beginning, at the top of it. That's what you call the super bomb. The what? If you touch the super bomb, you advance to the next level for some reason. The super bomb that advances you to the next level, okay. It's a bit weird. Yeah. And uh, a big tall tower with a bomb in it. I don't think America wants to go back to its past. Mm, no way. I think we should shut up and get to the next game, don't you? Yes, I do. So here for you Nintendo fans is a special. It's Mario Bros. on the Atari 2600. I know. He has it. And surprisingly, I only got it for three quid. What did you go for? The right market in Birmingham. Hop on now. So you might have just realised that the game is very similar to the Mario Bros. game in the arcades. Obviously, it's the same game, just for Atari. Yeah. In this game, all you do is basically hit Coopers at the top of the, at the bottom of them, to hit them at the top. It's a bit confusing, I know, but when you play it, you'll understand. So you hit it at the bottom, and then you kick them at the top. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Oh, wait, Sean, what's that? What do you think that glowy thing is? That glowing box? Wow, I don't know, it's Tari, you can't really tell. Would you actually believe that was the original coin in really? Mario? It really was. That's cool. But obviously in Atari, you were limited to what you could do. Mm. But to be honest with you, in this game, it's very addictive and you will be playing it for so long. Even though I'm a piece of shit with it. But you were having a really good time on it, yeah? It was good, I just couldn't play. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you dumb shit. Okay, so that was the Atari 2600, and Jan, does it live up to its time? Yeah, it does. The graphics may suck, but graphics aren't everything. I mean, as you said before, look at Fable 3. Exactly. Good graphics, but shit game. So, anyway, go out and get some Space Invaders on the Atari. And yeah. play some Space Invaders. Exactly. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Fuck me, are you okay? Yeah, I'm on the right. My head just hurts, though. What the who? What the hell happened? Santa? What the? Oh, oh, oh! Enjoy your present! Santa, you nubbit! What the hell was it? The Santa. You left us a present. I don't know, I too. Let me see. Dear me and Jam, do not open until Christmas Day. Yours sincerely, Santa, bitch. Hmm. What could it be? Uh, no.